but overall you're going to be easily getting that 1700 ounces of torque available okay now what to keep in mind is if you go let's say instead of a full inch away from the center point of the shaft and you go let's say half of that and we say let's say half inch you actually are doubling the amount of available torque on this motor okay and how that works is because of the measurement being taken is based on a one inch radius if that radius increases it's going to drop the torque and when i say the radius increases it means past the ounce inch level ounce inch therefore you understand how that translates in going from a radius position we increase the radius position we decrease the amount of torque available for whatever component we're spinning we decrease the radius position based on the initial measurement and you're increasing the amount of torque available okay to give you guys a direct representation to understand just how much power one of these motors has you're looking at 106.25 inch pounds of torque once again that's pounds of torque that is massive guys that is a lot of torque that means within a one inch radius you're looking at over a hundred pounds of actual torque available okay so when guys call me or they message me and say hey i need i want to go with neiman 34s what are you running well i'm running a 4 by 8 chassis now now that you know what i just said think in terms of how easy it is to determine is that really the best application for this type of motor i think you pretty much see where i'm going these type of motors are best used once again on mills that are dealing with heavy type machining applications if you're dealing with a lot of metal a lot of steel this is a motor that's going to be your best friend okay super rigid to give you an idea and the gravity of just how big this monster is this is a 10.4 pound motor okay this is no joke i mean it is definitely it's like a paperweight i mean there's no other way to explain it it's massive our NEMA 23 300 ounce is only weighing in at 2.4 pounds so you could see the differential once again the, the imaging is really why i wanted you guys to see this i mean we're dealing with the hulk here and david banner